This is 2017 preseason training tape number five, about 10 minutes in length. We're going to talk about communication. Indoor football, we have got to communicate. Just remember, it's very rare when we need a quick call. We understand sometimes we do need the quick call and we got to sell it quick, but most times we can slow it down and get the call right. See the play, communicate, and then signal. Let's take a look at, uh, I think I got nine plays here. Real good communication. Each crew will develop their own little methods to communicate, but I think uh, the plays will give you a pretty good perspective of, of what we're looking for in 2017. Remember, communicate. Crew communication is paramount in officiating. I want, to, want you to watch the goal line play. You can see our wing at the top of the screen and our back judge. Look at the communication. Look at that. First, we're going to work. What's our wing looking for here? He has got wall responsibility. Back judge has the goal line. Watch our wing at the top of the screen. Wall all the way. He's got him clear. What's he going to do? That's his signal. He's pointing to the back judge that I've got him clear of the wall. It's up to you, back judge. Did he break the plane? Yes, he did. One more time. This is textbook crew communication. Look at this. No rush here. Take our time. See it and sell it. Beautiful piece of officiating here. If you're going to make a crew saving call, you better be 100% correct. Let's watch the action between these two players over on the wall. Okay. We got two officials right on top of this play. Let's go in a little bit and see what happened. Slow it down. Looks like uh, that receiver, that's a strong arm robbery. Looks like he stole that uh, defender's defense. I mean, that is a blatant theft of defense there or offensive pass interference. And we've got. Uh, Two officials looking at it. Let's, let's back back out, and uh, they don't have a call. Let's watch our wing from across the field. He looks like he has a real good angle at the play, switching to ball, and he sees the crime. He charges across. He's killing the clock, and he says, "Hey guys, let's have a discuss. Let's have a little discussion here." So the crew is discussing it. Well, did you get a look at the suspect? Yeah, he's wearing a black jersey with a number five. Okay, and victim, uh, hey, stay away. Let, let the guys talk about it. They're discussing it, and they said, well, we have probable cause to believe that, well, let's see, offensive pass interference has occurred, and that's uh, 10 yards. Let's go back and try it again. Now, let's look at the play one more time. I mean, it's pretty clear. This is textbook offensive pass interference. Oops, let's go back a little further. Okay, here we go. And slow it down. Stop it. Again, strong arm robbery. And he steals that defender's defense right there. That's big. Makes a great catch. I don't know what the two officials are looking at right there, but uh, they were saved. And it's a crew game out here. Great job by the line judge coming across the field, communicating what he had. The crew got together and discussed it. They came up with the right conclusion, OPI. Excellent job of communication here. That's what we want. Get it right. While we're still talking about communication, remember, some plays may take a couple seconds before we decide what happened. We need excellent communication to ensure we get it correct because each official may have something different. So before going up, like here, talk about it. This is not one of those bang-bang plays where we need a quick sell. We're not going to let the players decide what we have. The officials will come in, discuss what they saw, and then signal. This is what we want. The players certainly are not going to make the call, but remember, each official may see something different on the play. So in a play like this, this is not bang-bang. We do not need it sold quickly. Each official may see something different. We've got our 
Wing here, we got our back judge coming in. Watch what they do. Just superb communication. Get the call right, slow it down when you have to. Talk, 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 and signal. Excellent job of communication before signaling what you have. Here on the try, remember the right tackle there reported as eligible. Let's watch the play unfold. You got a busted play. Right tackle makes the catch. Official reacts. Hey, we got an illegal touch here. What did the crew do? They came in and talked about it. Said, wait a minute, 75, didn't he report as eligible? Yes, he did. The crew correctly waved off the flag. Again, an excellent, excellent example of crew communications to get the call correct. Nice job here. Let's look at the good communication down here on a tight goal line play between the back judge and the line judge. Line judge coming down. Remember, he's got uh, wall responsibility on this play. Seeing if there's wall contact. Back judge has the goal line. The two must meet in between. Right there it is. There's the communication. He's got him down. Line judge has him down. The arm's up. Back judge adjusts to the spot just short of the goal line. Excellent communication on the play. Touchdown catch here in the uh, down here in the corner. Look at the communication between our H and our back judge as they come in. Watch. This is the kind of communication we want. No big hurry here. It's not one of those tight plays where we need a quick call. They look at each other. And they both go up. Watch again. They both see the catch. They both look at each other, agree, and go up. Excellent communication. That's what we want. On this play, we're going to have an over-the-wall catch down here. And I want you to watch the mechanics by our linesman and our back judge, okay? Uh, first, they make sure that the receiver has control of the ball. He didn't use the wall to gain control. Both officials hustled to get in there. They waited until the play finished. Let's slow it down here a little bit. And they made the call together. And when you got mechanics like this, no one could possibly question that this guy did not make the call. Again, let me get in a little bit closer if we can. Just no hurry. Both get in there. Both see it. Well sold. Well done. This is a situation where a quick call is not needed. Slow it down, see it, get it right. Excellent mechanics by the crew. Goal line communication, watch our wing official here and our back judge. Like the back judge pointing to the declaring linebacker, watch our wing get pushed off the goal line. Safety first, still focused though. He's got him clear, he's going to communicate back to the back judge who's waiting for confirmation, they both go up. Great job of communication by the two officials. Excellent. Here's an example of textbook communication. Let's watch our line judge and our back judge on a touchdown play. Run at full speed. Perfect communication here on the touchdown. So let's go back and analyze. Line judge, what do we want? He's got to hold the line of scrimmage until the ball crosses. He's going to switch his responsibilities now to the wall. Does this runner contact the wall? Looks like he does. However, line judge looking right at it, and he's going to communicate to his back judge that I've got him clear of the wall. Watching, watching, here comes a signal. Now let's focus on the back judge. He's looking for help, looking towards his line judge, gets what he needs, and signals. Again, here, there is no need for a quick whistle on a play such as this. Good communication, signal, beautiful. Now let's go back, let's watch the illegal twist. You're going to see our nose take an outside rush. He's going to twist. What do we need? There's the twist right there. It's going outside, and the ball's in the alley. Twist, it's going outside. That's big, big enough. Right there, that is big enough. Look at the focus by the umpire. A well-officiated play all around. Great job by the crew. Remember, see the play, process it, communicate with your partner, and then signal.
Thank you for your attention.